and welcome to Peacock Media Craze where you guys can find the latest in pre-production, editing videos, Rick's website, helping and general media guidance. So you want to know what the best editing software there is for making a short film. Now there are many editing softwares out there from free to payable and in this video I'll be going through a few of them for you. So let's start with the free ones first. Windows Movie Maker is a great tool to have, especially if you're a beginner. Now most of us have used it before and it's mainly done on PC. It's also quite simple to use as well, that's why I said it's a great tool to have if you're a beginner. So yeah, you could do things from cuts to transitions to adding music. The basics is all there for you iMovie is another free editing software. Now this one I have not used myself but I know other people who have. This again is good for beginners. So now let's talk about the purchasable editing softwares out there. Adobe Creative Cloud has a lot of editing software you can use as a filmmaker. I would advise you to definitely get it if you have enough to pay monthly but this comes with a great range of tools for you to use as a filmmaker. Let's look at a couple of them, shall we? Adobe Premiere Pro is a tool I use most often in the Adobe Creative Cloud. This is great software from beginners to professional level. Now, I only use it for my college projects and my own projects like this one here. In Premiere Pro, you can edit many techniques, such as green screen, voice and effects as well as cutting and transitions. Adobe After Effects is another editing software within the Adobe Creative Cloud. This is a massive tool to use for effects, such as Vampire Speed. Cloning is also another one. Ha, oh, hey. So, how was your run? Oh yeah, oh, it was amazing. Oh, yeah, amazing. the amount of fun we had there. Uh, oh, and the awesome. old man. They were really funny. At one point, there was a dinosaur. Yeah, definitely check it out, guys. Yeah. Now, one of the last editing softwares that I personally use within the Adobe Creative Cloud is Adobe Audition. Now, this tool is great for voice and audio. I myself have just started using this software in college, and so far, it's doing wonders. So one of the things that I was just taught is how to make sure that all the levels of the audio are the same. So that, for example, all, all of the speech is the same, or the background music are the same. So if you, if you have like five different tracks for background music, they're all the same level. So this means that the audience doesn't have to flick up and down through the sound burn. So one other is Final Cut Pro. Now, I myself have not used this, but again, I do know other people who have and it comes highly recommended. Now, this product is only for Macs, as well as iMovie that I mentioned earlier is also used on a Mac. Right, so thank you for watching. I hope this helped you greatly. If it did, remember to subscribe for more awesome content just like the one that I made today for you. Thanks.